the ceremony for all the uh, brothers, sisters, and friends who request your name uh, to take refuge in the Triple Gems. Before you taking the ceremony, I would like to um, explain briefly so you understand what's going on and what is it. In Buddhist tradition, we take the vows to become the students of the Buddha in order to learn and to apply the teachings of the Buddha in our daily life. You know that we all have the intent to live and we all have the intent to love. But if we do not know how to live right, we may suffer our life and the life of others. So if we want to be happy, we also learn the art to be happy. So the teachings of the Buddha is the path. The teachings of the Buddha is the way to help us to understand more about mindful life. So we try not to avoid, we try to avoid the bad. We try to cultivate our loving kindness to do the good. So the Buddha is not a saint, is a, not a holy person. Buddha is our teacher who able to show us the way to practice. So when you respect the Buddha, you pay respect to the Buddha, you pay respect to the teacher who able to show us the way to live and to practice. The teachings of the Buddha is the truth. The teachings of the Buddha is the way, the path. Today, if you want to go to somewhere, you must know the direction. If you want to do something, you must know how to do it. If we do not know the direction, we cannot arrive to our destination. If we do not know what to do, we cannot do things right. Same thing. If we do not know how to live, we cannot live right, happy, mindfully, healthily. So once we have nothing for us, then of course we also have nothing for our loved one. So this is which we never want. We want to bring love to our loved one. Then we must learn how to cultivate the art of love so we can love them in the way we both happy. Otherwise, we both suffer. So the teachings of Buddha is the way to help us to see the direction, to see it is the instruction how to live right and mindfully so we both to be happy. Sangha is the community. So today you can see that we are gathering here as a community. But this community, we come to happy each other. The same as your family. You have a mother, a father, children, and brother, sister. We come together as a group, as a community. So we want to be happy for each other. So we learn how to make this community happy. So we take refuge in the Buddha, our teachers. The Dharma, the teachings, the Sangha, the community, this is what we call the Triple Gems. Buddhists have three jewels, Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha. And that is the reason why when you bow the Buddha, you bow three bows. Buddha, Dharma, Sangha. So why you need to take this ceremony? In order to live your life meaningful according to the teachings of the Buddha. So what is this foundation of happiness? We respect the life of others. We do not kill anyone. We do not destroy anyone because of our hate, our ignorance. So we respect the life of others not to kill. We respect the property of others not to steal, not to take anything that does not belong to us. Another way we practice, we try to share whatever we can for those who need help. The third practice, we have witnessed many broken families due to the sexual misconduct. So we vow not to engage any relationship with our love and long-term commitment. The fourth practice, we understand that words can bring happiness Words can bring suffering. So therefore, we only talk, we only use loving speech, kindness words. So we, when we talk, 
when we uh, have the conversation in daily life, use loving speech and try to listening deeply to each other in order to understand each other more and allow the others they can share. We used to talk about loving kindness, but how? How can we love someone if we cannot listen deeply to what they want to share? If we have no understanding, how can we love them? So allow them to talk and allow us to listen. One person talk, the other person listen, we both happy. You understand them more after you listen to them. And they release, they suffer after they talk. So the fourth practice is very uh, reality in daily life. Listening deeply and using loving speech in daily life. The last practice. Be very mindful on your daily consumption. We all know that this physical body is given to us by our parents, our ancestors. So we should keep this body in a good condition, not to damage this body with drugs, alcohol, and any, any food that may damage your body. So the fifth practice, be very mindful what you will take into your body. Any drugs, any alcohol, smoking, those are all the poisons they may damage your body. There are movies, there are games, there are books, there are movies, um, uh, TV uh, programs. They may cause a lot of things that may damage your, body, your mind. So keep your mind in a healthy condition. Keep your body in a healthy condition by very mindful on what you intake for your body and for your mind. Some of the electronic games, they only contain hate, violence. They have nothing for you to learn. So the more you watch, the more you play, the more you influence all that negatives. So be very mindful on that. So now you can reflect the five trainings the Buddha just taught us, nothing related to religions. So therefore, today, it's not the day for you to become the member of a religion, but you are the one who is willing to practice to make your life become better. We want things to be better, that nothing can be better if we do not change the way we want, change the way we live. So any negatives, we make us become positive. So this is the, the purpose of the practice today. So I understand, I, I go through the, all the names and I understand that there are a lot of young friends who take the ceremony today. So I would like to briefly share what's going on. So when you take it, you know why you take it and what you take it and how you practice. I hope that with my brief sharing, you have understood uh, what the Buddha taught for all the uh, students, all the lay members. So remember, we are not just a member of a religion. We are the practitioners who practice and make our life become better. So thank you for your listening and your practice. Thank you. Yeah, kính thưa toàn thể đại